Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. And today is gonna to be the next one in my Scooby-Doo-a-thon related videos. And today is going to be my Shaggy inspired books. So as you all know, if you've seen my previous ones, but I will link the playlist down below anyway, I have been doing um, Scooby-Doo-a-thon um, related videos based on all of the characters. So, so far we have had Velma, we have had Fred, and we have had Scooby-Doo himself. And today, like I said, is going to be Shaggy. Shaggy is one of my favorite characters. He's so funny. And and yeah, he just makes me laugh in lots of ways. And I love how he and Scooby have such a wonderful relationship. So basically, I'm going to take five different prompts that make me think of Shaggy. And I'm going to talk about two books per prompt. And yes, let you know why I think that they relate to each other. So the first prompt I have for Shaggy is Hungry. And to be honest, most of the traits for both of these, I have um, probably read like the two could fit together so we could have Scooby and Shaggy have they have very similar traits um but I wanted to put this one onto Shaggy because I just think that he is always hungry you kind of expect a dog to be always hungry but Shaggy is always hungry too he can eat like it's going out of fashion um and so the first one I wanted to talk about it basically the two I want to talk about today are places that I think that Shaggy would definitely love to go I feel like he would be in his element and the first one is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl can you imagine Shaggy Shaggy at the chocolate factory I feel like he would love it um, especially because he could have all of the stuff they wanted although Willy Wonka would probably be disappointed because basically everything would be empty by the time he left and yeah I just think it would be great to see him I feel like we should have like a mix of Charlie and the chocolate factory meets Scooby-Doo I think that would be like a brilliant thing I just think it would be hilarious so yes yeah, definitely something that reminds me of him then the next one, um, this book is not necessarily the only one, it's just this series in general. So this is Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series, but honestly, it could be any of them. And I mean the feast. Can you imagine Shaggy going to Hogwarts and eating all of the food at the feast? Like, again, they'd have to refill their plates too many times. And the poor house elves would be, like, running around thinking, oh my god, what on earth is happening? But yeah, I absolutely love this. Um... I think, the, like I say, the combination of the two would be amazing and I think that he would definitely love to go to the Great Hall and have a feast there. Also, there is obviously um, like Honeydukes and stuff, like I think he would just love to visit Hogsmeade and go to all the different food places and try butterbeer and all that, so I think, yeah, I think it would be great. So definitely one I think that he would enjoy. The next trait, uh, or the next thing that reminds me of Shaggy is best friend. He is definitely a wonderful friend and he has a lot of um, things, obviously him and Scooby are best friends and it's just so lovely to see. Um, so the first one I wanted to talk about is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman because th there is kind of an eccentric group of people or ghosts um, in the graveyard book that I think kind of has a lot to do with the mystery gang to be honest. Um, so if you don't know the graveyard book follows Bod who is um, a human and when he was little um, he essentially found himself in a graveyard and the ghosts bring him up basically as their own and um, it's just amazing it's such a wonderful story it's really lovely and yeah they're just the kind of like misfit group I guess makes me think of Shaggy and his relationship with the rest of the Scooby gang and things that they do so yeah definitely something um, that definitely something that reminds me of the lot of them and then also I wanted to talk about The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien so specifically I would say starting at the beginning so we have The Fellowship of the Ring this um, kind of the oddball group again um, so obviously you have all of the people that are going to find the ring most people know what The Lord of the Rings is about I assume you all do um, but obviously it's that combination of um, different types of people so in that one you have like the dwarves the hobbits all of that just all together and yeah I just think it's really lovely and something that I definitely would love to um, keep reading um, hopefully I'll read the last one soon definitely reminds me of Shaggy and the mystery gang next up we have um, the trait of he's very laid-back like I've heard people describe him as quite hippie like and um, he's definitely a laid-back person I feel like he's quite like off the grid he's not somebody who I would imagine would like have loads of mobile phones and kind of play computer games too much I feel like he's very much out in the open and just like enjoying his life and eating food <laughs> so I wanted to talk about two memoirs that sort of have the same sort of hippie vibe uh, to it and that one the first one is Into the Wild by John Krakauer so John Krakauer writes a story about Chris McCandlish who basically left all of his worldly possessions behind and went off into the wild hence the name of the book it kind of went from there really um so unfortunately like I say Chris McCandlish did die at the end but I still think that his kind of attitude and his mindset is very much a shaggy mindset 
Um, and I also wanted to talk about Wild by Cheryl Strayed for the same reason. So Cheryl Strayed um, decided to go and walk the Pacific Crest Trail without any kind of training in, in beforehand. And again, that is the kind of shaggy thing to do, I think. I think he's very much impulsive. And I think he would go for like, as long as there was food. I think he wouldn't go without food, but he would definitely have, as long as there was lots of food, he would be good and I think he would do that. The next prompt is that he is hilarious. I laugh my head off with everything that Shaggy says. I feel like him and Scooby bounce off each other really really well and I just think he's so funny. Um, so the first one I want to talk about is one of my favourite sort of humorous author authors and that is I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. Sophie Kinsella is just a wonderful author and I absolutely love basically everything she puts out but I've Got Your Number was one of the more recent ones that I read and I absolutely loved it. It basically follows a woman who finds a mobile phone in a rubbish bin and she um, keeps it and basically ends up having text conversations with a man whose phone it is um, and it is well it's, it's, a, it's a man named Sam's assistant's phone who threw it in there because she quit and then over the phone this woman sort of becomes his new assistant kind of and there's like a romance element and it's kind of it's just really funny and so it definitely yeah has the funny element that makes me think of Shaggy. And I also wanted to talk about one of my favourite John Green books, which is Looking for Alaska by John Green. This follows this follows a boy who meets a girl named Alaska when he moves um, away from his hometown to go to school. And he sort of falls for her a little bit. And she kind of, she's very like whimsical and just very like, whatever is happening is happening. And I love that book. I thought it was amazing. And it's definitely, I think it's actually my favourite John Green book, if I'm honest. So yeah, definitely one that I really enjoyed. And um it has that really funny vibe to it for me. And then the last trait, or the last thing that reminds me of Shaggy is the colour green. Um, you probably know that Shaggy wears a green t-shirt at all times, so it definitely makes me think of him. So the first book I wanted to talk about is The Forgotten Garden by Kate Mord Morden. The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. Kate Morton is one of my favourite um, historical fiction writers, and this book is massive, but it really has that, like, mystery element to it so it basically follows a woman who find who gets i think she gets left the house by her grandmother when she passes away and she um finds this like forgotten garden like mystery garden at the bottom of in the house and it kind of goes from there so there is that mysterious element which definitely has like mystery elements that the same as scooby doo does but i do just really love it there's something about it that's just really really nice so yeah definitely um a reminder from that and then the last one i want to talk about is another kind of mystery one but that is a meditation on murder by robert thurgood this is the first book in the death and paradise series based on the t tv shows that the TV shows are based on. And um, it also has the kind of hippie vibe, I guess, because this is actually set on a retreat um, and it has the like yoga and meditation and stuff, which I kind of do associate with Shaggy quite a lot. And um, I just think a meditation on murder is great. And it's also a green cover, so obviously definitely has that as well. So that is all of the things that um, associate with, with Shaggy. I hope that you liked this video. Um, my video shout out for this video is going to be Georgia from the channel Reading Euphoria. I recently discovered Georgia's channel and I love her. Um, she's really really intelligent and she speaks in such a wonderful way and I, I'm always really engaged when I watch her videos. Like a lot of the time I watch videos and I kind of have them in the background. Well, not necessarily in the background but I'm always doing other things but I found myself just staring at the screen and watching every single minute of it when I watch George's video because I just think she's great and um, yeah definitely needs more sub supporters and more subscribers so please go and check out George's channel because I think she's great give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall see you next time for another video bye guys mm -hmm.